hello everyone let's start working on lab 1 so click on lab 1 button on the left and then start lab click on start uh, right click on height and weight and let's save link as a text document in the downloads folder let's go to task one now you can see that uh, we need to uh, complete task one the task one says that we need to upload the downloaded file height weight to Excel so let's open Excel click on blank or workbook let us import the file click on file open then browse since I have downloaded the file in the downloads folder so click on downloads and here you can see nothing so here uh, click on this drop down menu then go for all files oh, click height and width that's a text document that, that we want to open open it okay you always need to choose this delimited button okay never choose this fixed width go for next and tab next and finish this is how the data is populated okay so we have done our task one and then it says upon completing task one what are the numbers in cell a17 and b18 so let's find those two a17 is click on A and find 17 so that's 17 that's 64 and B 18 is this is 18 and this is B 64 and 167 is our answer which is B then let's move on to task 2 now in task 2 we need to uh, download height weight B save link as and again we use downloads folder to save this document we have saved it and now you can see that we need to uh, upload the data again to Excel file so let's do the same procedure again but be careful about the steps file open browse and here since we have already chosen all files so click on height weight p and open delimited should be chosen click next here you can see that the data is separated by commas so let's click on comma and space okay then it will give us two columns click on next and finish it that's how this looks like now task 2 is almost complete but let us finish this question upon completing task 2 how many data points are in each column okay. so do not count the headers let's go to the end so that is 51 okay but we know that the first row is the header row so we delete that means we ignore that so our answer would be 50 move on to task 3 now open 
the height weight gender file save the text data and open the height weight gender file save link as save in the same folder downloads and here it says that um, we need to split the screen and scroll to see the to see the last rows of the given data for that we do the same thing file open browse height weight gender that's the file we want to open or upload click on delimited and height weight gender since you can see that there is nothing wrong with this uh, with this format so click on next simply and finish thus we will be getting three columns and a lot of rows now let us go to view and split the screen okay before for that let us click on any any cell and here I have clicked on a18 a is the column and 18 is the row then if we uh, use the split command then it will split from this uh, 18th row so let's do that okay then you can see two scroll bars which will scroll uh, which can be scrolled independently so that's how we do it now let's look at the question upon completing task 3 what are the numbers in cell a469 b466 and c467 so here this is 466 uh, 66th line uh, row 460 a469 is 55 b 467 is 157 and sorry b 466 is 155 and uh, c 467 is 1 so our answer would be this one okay yeah we are correct so let us move on to next task task number four <coughs> okay here it says that US crime text let us uh, download this again do the same thing and save it in documents file sorry downloads file folder and now let us again upload the data file file open browse and this is download so US crime open it then go for delimited never choose fixed width next now each of the data each of the columns are separated by commas so click on comma okay thus we get a nice view of how the formatting works okay so let us go to next and finish it thus we get uh, the uploaded data file in this way and here it says that you are asked to open the file and create a new Excel document containing only the data related to Illinois let's throw away all the information of other states except Illinois for that click on the first column and first row that's a1 and click on data and there's this button filter so do filter click on filter then you can see these kinds of drop down menu in each column click on this then deselect all so we want to we want only Illinois so select Illinois okay thus you can see that we are only getting the data about Illinois and here it says that we want to create a new Excel document so for that uh, let us let us press ctrl A ctrl A 
selects all and don't forget to press Ctrl C that copies the whole um, selected objects and click on sheet 1 if you don't have sheet 1 then press on this plus button then it will uh, give you sheet 1 and then Ctrl V that will paste all the information about Illinois okay. so no other state is selected just Illinois is selected and again let us see the information correctly okay um, now four upon completing task four what are the numbers in cell d22 222 e222 careful the table should not contain the headers so let us delete the header in this new page okay so that means what we will do is click on the row just like this and uh, hover or over, hover on top of row one and right click your mouse button then there we can see delete button okay. delete choose delete then this row will be deleted automatically and everything will be move on uh, on top here uh, scroll down a bit and find the row 222 it's right here so this is D 222 that's 1997 E 222 is 10103550 so let us click that so B is our correct answer now let's go to task 5 let's do question number five and six and this this question number five and six uh, will be different for each of us so you should do it on your own okay here I'll just skip this step and you must go through lectures one and two uh, to do to do this problem so understand lecture one and two and do these problems okay this is true for this one which of the following statement is false this is false uh, sorry so let's go to task 6 part 1 here um, it simply says that we need to simulate data okay for that we need data analysis and now let us try to go through this book one and click on data now you can see the data analysis button uh, somewhere here in the uh, top right corner Okay, so uh, you should be able to see data analysis just like this uh, data analysis option uh, in your uh, Excel workbook let us uh, install or let us include Excel add-in go to file then choose on choose option on the left um, bottom left options and then you will get it by this dialog box click on add-ins click on after clicking on add-ins we get this kind of uh, interface then here at the bottom there is manage option and Excel add-ins choose Excel add-ins there are other options also Excel add-ins and click on go then you'll get a small dialog box choose the topmost analysis tool pack and click OK right then you can see the data analysis uh, option in your workbook okay now here so we have done this now let's go to task 6 part 2 So in um, so here uh, we need to use the random gen number generator to simulate one column of 60 numbers with Poisson distribution for lambda is type uh, 0 0.1 0 0.88 and random seed is 1123 so let's do that let's go to the blank workbook and click on data and then click on data analysis now scroll down a bit and choose the random number generation and click on OK 
So we need one column with 60 rows and the distribution should be Poisson distribution. The lambda should be 0 0.88 and random seed would be 11.23. Okay. Then you'll get uh, you'll get the random numbers generated in this way. So there are 60 rows. Now, uh, let's um, let's go to the question again and try to see what is to be done. Upon completing task uh, six, six part two, which of the following is false? The number three is less frequent than number one. Zero, number zero is more frequent than number three. Most of the numbers are smaller than three. Number two never appears. Okay, so let's see here. Two. Two appears many times, more than twice. So this is false. So this should be the correct answer. Then let us submit the lab for grading. Click on S. Okay. All right. Now uh, once you have already submitted the lab, then click on labs, then you can see lab one retake. So that's the way how you uh, see and access lab one retake. Thank you. If you have any question or comments, please comment in the uh, comment sections below. And if you have uh, comments or questions for any particular time, let's suppose at the first minute of uh, the video you if you have any question then pause it pause on the first minute one minute and comment it right there okay thank you